please don't tell the person to do everything for you. Like, oh, write my personal statement for me or put in my application for me. Mind you, the person is a grad student and they already have a lot to do, a lot of academic work to do. So the person might not even respond to you at all or maybe reluctant to help you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia and I vlog about my life as a grad student here in the USA. So in the period where I put myself on YouTube and even before that, um, I've had people reach me from YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, um, Instagram, or people who reach through me through another person asking about grad school or having inquiries or asking me to help them in one way or the other. And during these times, there are certain um, categories of students or questions or demands of people that have sometimes went overboard, like somebody asking me to give her my undergrad thesis so that she presents that for her application because she didn't do thesis in undergrad, like somewhere that bizarre and somewhere just um, little mistakes here and there, but then getting to know those mistakes and not doing them and not even making certain demands would help um, you um, receive help from somebody. So my friends have also experienced same thing and I asked them to share their thoughts on things that you shouldn't do when you are approaching a, a former student or a current student or even faculty at any school that you want to apply to. So watch this video if you are planning to apply to schools or you have somebody you think um, this video will be helpful to and I'll share my own thoughts at the end of the video. Hi, this is Hetibu. When contacting a student abroad to help you in your applications, please don't tell the person to do everything for you. Like, oh, write my personal statement for me or put in my application for me. Mind you, the person is a grad student and they already have a lot to do, a lot of academic work to do. So the person might not even respond to you at all or maybe reluctant to help you. So what you can do is that, oh, I have my personal statement ready. Can you help me review it? Or I was going through my application, but I got stuck at this point. Can you help me complete it? The person will be more responsive knowing that you are putting in some effort into your application. But if you just go like, oh, give me your personal statement. Oh, can you write a personal statement for me? Oh, can you do my application for me? The person is likely not to respond positively. Yes, so that's my word of advice. I wish you all the best in your application. Mwah. Hey, hello guys. Um, I have five points I want to talk about. The don'ts when you want somebody to assist you in the application process. But first, subscribe to this channel, Patricia Abija, and turn on the notification button. Okay, the first point is that do not start without introducing your desired program. So do not contact the person without telling the person what kind of program you want to read. Let the person know that I want to read this program, I want to read this program. And based on that, the person can search for specific schools that run those programs and funding opportunities that are there. Don't expect the person to already know, you know, what kind of programs you want to read. Or don't expect the person to now ask you that what kind of program do you want to read. Introduce the program or the programs to the person. And also, do not expect the person to apply for you. You know, don't expect the person to go into the application system, put in your details, pay out the application fee, and all sort of that. Please, you know, the person giving you those schools, that is, you know, enough, that is an effort put in. Your job is to continue the process by going to the application system, you know, putting your details, paying the application fee, and all sort of that. If you, you, you have challenges with those, then you can communicate with the person, then the person can come in in those aspects. And also, do not be reluctant when somebody gives you leads on schools, on scholarships, opportunities, you know, and all sort of that. Please, your job is to apply. So if a person gives you a number of schools you have to apply to, the person gives you funding opportunities you have to apply to, supervisors you can contact for, you know, assistance and all that, please you have to you know take upon yourself to work on them do not come back like two weeks three weeks later asking the person the same question when you haven't worked on them else it makes the person feels like he or she gives you the information and you just you know 
excuse me to say sleep on them you don't do anything about it you know and also before you, you contact a person initially you must start a process you must start an effort you must start searching for schools or searching for funding or doing something then you tell the person that okay i've been searching for schools i've got to this stage i need the assistance and also that but do not you know contact the person when you have not started anything at all like you have not even thought of the program you want to read you have not even thought of the country you want to read a program in at you have not thought of like you know your career goals i mean start those things then the person can assist you and finally do not assume that the person assisting you knows it all do not assume the person has all the schools all the funny opportunities at hand that anytime you ask the person can just feed you with those things you know don't expect too much because the person is going to use the same internet you have access to to search for these opportunities just that a person may know the search terms and search engines better than you know because the person has gone through the process before for instance in the united states or in canada if you are looking for funding we don't only search for scholarships as a search term you search for graduate assistantship because funding as scholarship is meant for you know undergrads so if you're looking for you know funding opportunity for grad students you know you have to search for grad students. these are one of the you know benefits or one of the advantages that somebody who has gone through the process has over you but that's not necessarily mean that the person has all the information at hand so sometimes do not you know expect too much from the from the person and appreciate that the person is giving you all this information because the person took time off his or busy settles to provide you with this assistance um i hope you know uh these don'ts will not be done and i wish you success in the application process thank you hi um my name is stephanie i'm a graduate student at the memorial university of newfoundland in canada i'll be sharing some few don'ts when contacting faculty and graduate students for your postgraduate studies process and the first one i'll say is that before you contact anyone um, be sure you have familiarized yourself with the school's website specifically the department's website um, this helps you to know what programs are being offered in the school what the requirements are and again it helps you to ask specific questions questions that will trigger response from faculty and graduate students Asking obvious questions that can be found in the department's website can be a put off and you may never get feedback from these people. I have an example of someone contacting me and I realized he had no idea what's happening in the school. I shared the department's website and asked him to go through that and come back again if you have any questions. And this person told me if he should go through the department's website, then what's the essence of contacting me? Um, which was rude, but these are some of the issues that we encounter. The final thing I'll add is that when you are contacting graduate students specifically, um, know that they are students there and they are not part of the admission committee. Even though their guidance can help you gain admission, it doesn't necessarily guarantee a 100% admission. So when the unfortunate happens, you don't come blaming them. You may try again, as everything depends solely on your qualification. So these are the few don'ts, and if you stick to it, you will succeed in your application. I wish you all the best and thank you. So my friends have shared tips about things you shouldn't do when you are contacting current students or even faculty. So these tips are very useful and if you follow them, you'd most likely have a smooth application process. I'll add a few tips. So um, the American system or American education system thrives on questions. So you are at liberty to ask me questions. You are at liberty to ask anybody questions they really promote questions so if you do not know something ask but then be wary of asking very obvious questions or questions that are on the website that's one thing i wanted to stress on like you can ask questions but then don't ask too obvious questions or at the safest if you do not know something ask let me put it that way because i do not want you not asking to and then making a mistake so if you do not know something 
then definitely do ask. They may lead you to where you can get the information if they do not really know how to help you. And um, another thing I would like to stress too is that current students do not equal the website or official information. So any information that you get from them and then you use, make sure that you are responsible for that information because they, they are not like the official math pieces of the school or um, take for example an information being on the website and then you've come to ask me I may not know and here's the case um, my major is in communication studies I've had people who approach me like I've seen your profile on LinkedIn and I see that you're at Illinois State University um, can you help me apply to the school and I'm like okay what program and you will realize that somebody actually wants you to tell them something that is on their interested programs department's website like i have a busy schedule i have so many things on my table if there's information about um english masters in english i'm not going to go on english website and then look at it for you like you have internet like um john mentioned so use your internet go to the english website read something and then if you do not understand then you can ask me i can only give you general information like um i've written my statements of purpose can you help me look over it and those kind of stuff like general stuff that goes through for everybody but for department specific information especially go to the department for information about international admissions i'm not on the admission board and many of my friends too are not so I would advise that information that is very official and very detailed you go to the right sources rather than asking current students they may lead you to the source but they are not the repository of knowledge when it comes to what you are looking for so one thing I'll add about contacting people to help you in the application process is that you may not know people personally and so you shouldn't go straight forward whenever you are introduced to somebody let's say somebody gave you the person's contact or you found the person on social media the best way to approach it is to say hi my name is this I came across you from this person or this platform and I want you to help me regards ABC so be specific be polite introduce yourself introduce what you want and don't just approach the person on social media and say hi and expect the person to respond there are several people i know that do not respond when somebody just sends them a hi so um know that that's basic um netiquette so i hope these tips on things not to do when contacting current grad students in the school that you want to apply to can help you in your application process as we've actually begun a new um, application process so it begins from august it's a new season there will be new people that will contact people and these tips can guide you in knowing how best to contact people